Do the one percent work harder? Well, a great many of them do, of course. And but my attitude is different. I think the people on the top of the heap ought to voluntarily take less as part of their duty to the republic. In other words, I don't think everybody should, who's been especially favored, should take the last dollar that he or she can get. Do I think we all have a an obligation to dampen these fires of envy. When you rise to a certain point in life, I think you should you should voluntarily and eagerly take less than you're worth. Executive compensation. This is front and center, of course, in the discussion over Coca-Cola that was just had in the meeting. How does one determine what is excessive? Well, of course, that's a hard question. But my views on this are different from most people. You start paying directors of corporations two or three hundred thousand dollars a year. It creates a daisy chain of reciprocity where they keep raising the CEO and he keeps recommending more pay for the directors. And in the end, I think the pay of both CEOs and directors in this country, in the biggest corporations, I think the pay is too high. When you have boards, Warren Buffett, for example, said. He's been on 19 boards over 55 years and never seen a board vote down a compensation package. Oh, I'm sure that's quite accurate. Is that indicative of a larger issue? Sure. The answer is there are social forces in place that are causing too much pay for some people. And when you try and fix it by paying the directors more, it's like trying to fix a fire by pouring gasoline on it. Berkshire doesn't pay its directors, is that For the that very reason. Is that we, the answer? We don't pay them very much. Well, there again, you see, I think the people on the top should voluntarily take less. And I think if I were running the world, directors wouldn't be paid at all. I would treat the directors like the trustees of Stanford or something, who not only don't get paid, but they're expected to give. Then how do you incentivize the people at the top to achieve climb to the top well, I think being a director is different from being an executive. But I think you'd get plenty of wonderful exec directors at American companies if you didn't pay them at all. You're saying also the CEO shouldn't make as much, right? Yes. So how do you incentivize them to want to, to, want to work think, to get there? Do you really think that a man who is, craves power and significance and likes decision making and is running a big company and has one of the most important public ranks in America and he makes $5 million a year, do you really think he'd work a lot more effectively if you raised him to seven? I think the whole thing is insane. Does the Supreme Court work harder or less hard because they don't get paid like corporate executives? We have some corporate directors who draw more pay than members of the Supreme Court. That's crazy.